In this advanced rigging topic, we are learning about how to add color to your pegs and drawing layers. Now in the previous step, we've added some backdrops, which is obviously a big jump forward in terms of organizing our node view. But um, as you may have noticed, the backdrops are limited to the node view, meaning that they won't have any uh, repercussion onto the timeline, as you can see. Um, now, if I wanted to have a little bit more of uh, a visual indicator of certain things that I'm pr probably prone to selecting more often than others, what I could do is apply colors to uh, different nodes. Uh, for instance, if I wanted the mouth of my character to be a certain color, I could go and select it right here. I'm going to press O to center on selection and I can go in the layer properties of my uh, my item right here whether it's a peg or a drawing layer I'm going to come in here and I have uh, right next to the locking option I have a little white box right here I'm going to click on it and here I can apply any of the uh, basic colors in here or I can create my own custom ones if I want to uh, apply one. Let's say I'm gonna do a green one like that, add it to my custom colors and then I just press OK. And now as you can see I have a little green square right here which also shows on my drawing layer and if I press O in the timeline I also have that layer highlighted green, like anything that is exposed on my timeline is going to get highlighted green. If I wanted to add uh, another color or uh, the same color to my peg, what I could do is again click on my layer properties, click on the uh, box right here, click on the box right here, and then I would go and select my color, press OK, close, and as you can see this one is also highlighted. So I could do uh, many different combinations for this. I could decide to go and um, select all of my pivot points, the floating, um, the floating ones that I have here, even though they don't show in the timeline, it's a good idea to uh, apply uh, a different color to these, just so we know as a visual indicator on top of the backdrops, uh, these are pivot points. These are uh, modules that I want to be associated together by uh, a different color. So this can always come in handy when trying to make sense of such a complex structure uh, in terms of uh, rigging. So go ahead and apply uh, colors to some specific modules. I wouldn't necessarily uh, use one on to every layer, but certainly uh, the ones that you think can be useful such as the pivot points uh, Maybe the layers that are shared together such as the fingers with the hands and the mouth the chin and the tongue That could be a great idea also the eyes so go crazy, but not too crazy with color And I will see you guys for the final few steps of our rig